Mother Durga got the special mercy of Lord Chaitanya. And that very place, it said in the Navadip Prikram Mahatma, or the glories of the Navadip Dham, that anyone who practices devotional service there becomes blessed by Srimati Radharani. So when we went there, by Radharani's mercy, the Sevaite, or worshippers of the Jagannath Subhadra Bhavaram temple of Rajapur in Simantudip, the island of hearing. Each of the nine islands of Navadip correspond with one of the nine practices of devotional service. Hearing, chanting, remembering, etc. The center island is Atma Nivedhanam, full surrender, self-surrender. So this island, just like a lotus has a center and the petals come out, eight petals coming out from the lotus, with the center being the full surrender, this petal is the island of hearing, which is most important. So when we went there and heard the transcendental words from Siddha Ramesha Sami's lips, he spoke on Srimati Radharani. And by Radharani's mercy, the people there, they said, please take over the worship of Jagannath. They explained to us the history of Jagannath. That according to the Navadit Mahatma and according to the eternal associates of Lord Chaitanya, like Narahari Chakravarti Thakur, in the previous thousands of years ago, Lord Jagannath was being disturbed by a demon called Raktabahu. And due to that disturbance, he decided to visit Navadip Dam. Actually, he arranged that he wanted to come to Navadip. So he had to have an excuse. So he had this demon come at that time. And his servants, their mood is to protect Jagannath. They took him up to Navadip. There he could enjoy meditating on his incarnation as Lord Chaitanya for some time. After some time, he had some devotee went and annihilated that Raktabahu demon. And again, he returned to Jagannath Puri. This is the historical fact. 